Dan Healy, legendary sound man for the Grateful Dead. I believe he started working for the Dead officially in 70, 71. He was part of the Hard Truckers group, which was making the speakers and working on all the gear. And I think it was in 72, I could be wrong, that he started working for the band officially as their front of house sound engineer. A similar bundle, all from 1979. There are 50 passes in here. Baltimore Civic Center. I went to this show as a 17 year old kid, May 5th, 1979. I convinced my mother to let me drive down to Hampton, Virginia and Baltimore, Maryland. Here's the Hampton, Virginia show the night before on May 4th, May 5th, 1979 in Baltimore. May 6th, we went to a no nukes rally on the front steps of the Capitol in Washington, DC. And Bob Weir showed up there and I met him for the first time. I was still a senior in high school. My first almost famous moment, meeting a member of the Grateful Dead. Here we go, this is 30 passes from 1980. Legendary year, Grateful Dead 1980. Brent Midland's in the band at this point for one year. The band is rehearsing, the band is on fire. And the summer of 1980 was unbelievable. June 7th, 1980, Folsom Field, Boulder, Colorado. These shows here were officially billed as the 15th anniversary concerts of the Grateful Dead. Think about that for a second because next year we're gonna celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Grateful Dead. These shows were the official 15th anniversary of the Grateful Dead. Portland, Oregon, June 12th, 1980. This is a legendary fucking Grateful Dead concert. While the Grateful Dead were playing Fire on the Mountain during the second set, Mount St. Helens erupted 50 miles away. When we left the show, Portland, Oregon was snowing with volcanic ash. It was all over the news. And it is a known fact that the Grateful Dead were playing Fire on the Mountain when that volcano was erupting. Fucking unreal shit. That is the magic of the Grateful Dead. Volcanoes erupting while they're playing Fire on the Mountain. Spokane, Washington, June 14th, 1980. This was an arena that held 15,000 people. 3,000 people came to this concert. Who the fuck's going to see the Grateful Dead in Spokane, Washington in 1980? Me and a bunch of other fucking crazy lunatics. And then, after they left Spokane, where do you think they went? You'll never guess. Anchorage, Alaska. They played three nights in a high school auditorium. June 19th, 20th and 21st, only we have the 19th and 21st. The 20th, Summer Solstice 1980, in a high school auditorium during Summer Solstice. Incredible. After that show, I flew back to Seattle, I hitchhiked back to the Bay Areas, I came really close to getting kidnapped by the Moonies and being abducted for the rest of my life. I barely escaped. It's a story for another time, but it's a true story. Hooked up with my friends, and then we drove to Chicago, Illinois. Did an enormous amount of LSD one day in Golden Gate Park. We did more LSD than you've ever taken in your whole life in a single day because somebody gave us some crystal LSD and we were fucking blazing our brains out. We actually laid on the ground for 10 hours and couldn't move because we were so high. It was incredible. I don't recommend any of you doing that today. But we all got into a van, and when we got to Nebraska in that van, we broke down because a metal magic marker case fell into the engine compartment and got caught between the positive and the negative of the engine electrical system and shorted the engine out. And so we got towed into a gas station, and our friend Eric Eisen, rest in peace, his father had AAA. So we got towed to this gas station in Nebraska and this redneck cop, he had that hat on with the strap along the back of his, he was circling the van and we had a bumper sticker on the back of that van that said, warning, I break for hallucinations. And he was just checking us out and we had enough drugs on us to go to prison for the rest of our lives. But they fixed that van and we drove away and that state trooper followed us all the way to the state border of Iowa and then sent us on our way. This was our summer of love, my summer of love. This was the most epic, epic, epic time of my life. We were 18 years old, we were drug dealers, we were having the most incredible time you could ever possibly imagine. And it was all because of the fucking Grateful Dead. Love shaking, oh shaking.